Hey gamers, I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow to say the least, so before then I'd just like to get something off my chest, and that is Nintendo gamers are here to stay. We're not ashamed, we're not embarrassed, and we certainly aren't lacking in self-respect. So if you want to say something discouraging about us because we like Nintendo, then bring it. I mean, we've, we've heard it all. I mean, Nintendo fans have been hearing it since the beginning. 80s, the 90s, or even these days, there's always someone out there who wants to talk smack about Nintendo, but we're still here. And now we're everywhere. And now we're everyone. So you could say we're all just little kids who all grow it someday, or man children deluded by nostalgia, but I mean, hey, we're still here and having fun, and having fun loving Nintendo, whether you like it or not. And we are not hiding in our parents' basements for fear of humiliation. I mean, it, in fact, many of us are parents ourselves. I mean, we come in all ages and shapes and sizes and colors and from all walks of life. I mean, so it's cool. I mean, really, no hard feelings. It's just a video game, okay? So go on clinging to your preconceived story about Nintendo games and systems just being for uncool little kids and that Nintendo's gamers are just uncool losers who are ashamed to go out in public. I mean, really, I mean, hang on to that. Hold that close to your heart because if you honestly need to believe if you need to say at least I hate Nintendo in order to affirm your own sense of coolness and legitimacy in the face of the horrible fact that no matter what you do you too are one of those gamers I mean it all means just help yourself use whatever coping mechanism you may need to cling to because if there's one thing Nintendo gamers have gotten good at since the 90s. It's discerning the truth from all the public relations noise intent on proving to the world that Nintendo and their gamers are uncool. I mean, because we know we're cool. I mean, Nintendo gamers have claimed the title of cool since video games and cool were considered incompatible with each other. Nintendo gamers have been out in the streets, out in the real world, since the late 80s, I mean, kids and teenagers and adults turning rating rooms into mushroom kingdoms, airport terminals into battlefields, buses into pinball arcades, and social clubs into wacky racetracks. So I mean we're absolutely not ashamed. We're not uncool and we are not too old to play the games we love. I mean not back then and certainly not in an age where millions of staid, suited, sober adults openly pass their time in public flinging cartoon birds into stacks of building blocks. I mean, so yeah, the streets are Nintendos. I mean, they've always been Nintendos. They will always be Nintendos. And no amount of PR spin is going to shame Nintendo gamers out of claiming that heritage. And Nintendo gamers have played out proudly out in the streets these days more than ever, and certainly long before certain newcomers to the portable gaming space sought to turn portable gaming into a fashion statement for a beautiful sleek with models walking around with them hanging from lanyards while trying to sweep us all the Nintendo gamers under the mat and try to typecast us all as little dorks too preoccupied with our kids toys to appreciate what they claim to be a real gaming experience having the gall to say that they will deliver portable gaming from the ghetto I mean, to their credit, Nintendo systems aren't the only ones out there. They aren't the only portable devices out there with worthwhile games. I mean, as much as some of us more militant Nintendo fans get, I mean, there are great games out there on a lot of those other systems. I mean, but none of those devices, at the end of the day, none of those are ever going to come built in with features. Some console manufacturers want to charge $500 extra for on a home console. None of those systems are going to have a platformer quite like Super Mario, a quest quite as legendary as Zelda, or planets quite as vast and deadly and deep as Metroids, or or a, a puzzler as eye-poppingly unique and intuitive as Pushmo. And really, that's just, that's just scratching the surface of what 3DS means to gamers who own or covet Nintendo's 8th generation portable. I mean, so this isn't to say the other systems don't have awesome games too, but that's just what makes 3DS awesome to us. And it's just our opinion. Your mileage may vary. It may not be awesome to you, but it's awesome to us. And that's why. And so, with that much fun to be had, I mean, really, 
What's there to be? What's there for Nintendo gamers to be ashamed of? I mean, so the fact is, the streets are indeed absolutely ours, meaning us gamers, under the banner of the Nintendo fan base as a collective. I mean, no corporate PR campaign has ever had to cue us or coax us into sharing our portable gaming passion with the rest of the world. I mean, we've never needed staged PR scenes of hipster models sporting portable systems to convince us we're cool for being gamers or perpetuate ignorant stereotypes to shame players of other systems out of openly enjoying the games and systems they choose and they love. So, in short, Nintendo gamers are here to stay, here in the streets where we established our own open, fun, unscripted, grassroots street gaming communities, and we aren't ashamed, and we aren't backing down, and we are not intimidated by fuddy-dud blowholes from PR teams who make judgments on our self-respect based on a video game of all things. And if there's someone out there who doesn't like that, then as far as I'm concerned, they could take it up with a babysitter. So thank you for watching.